Hi guys, uh, today I'll be sketching some of the heads and let's see how it's gonna go. <laughs> so the first thing I would do is to do the structure first and for that I need to figure out how the head's gonna look like. So this is going to be the symmetry line. This is the side of the head. The ear is uh, on the edge of the head. And she's kind of looking up. Maybe, I don't know. So here's her cheekbones. Maybe lower, probably lower. The eye area here. Uh, the ear is kind of smaller than this area, but still like somewhere in the center, so like not lower, almost like on the same line with the nose. So the cheekbone is going to go somewhere here. I need to make sure the cheekbone is on the same line here. Okay. I think she kind of looks good. Uh, the only thing that is bad here is that originally she has a ha hairstyle like here and composition wise it's bad because it's going on the next page. So I'm not sure if I should re-sketch it again. Yeah, I think re-sketching would be the best solution. <laughs> Let's repeat it again then, a little bit closer here. So the side circle was somewhere like 40, 40 and 60 percent maybe. The, this part of the face is much bigger than other, like it's still, they still kind of equal, but it looks like this one is uh, bigger and uh, this one is smaller because she's still looking up. So yeah, and then ear is kind of close to the end of the head over there and ear on the same level with the nose, we already know it, so we can just... And just sketch it. So the cheekbone, and then to make sure that the cheekbone is on both sides, are kind of in the same places. So at this point I'm, I'm looking uh, if this head looks symmetrical. And try to find all the uh, mistakes if possible. Like I feel like a lot of the, the symmetry is off. So we'll try to move this line here. Make a point here 
Chin. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I would need more information to make judgments. It doesn't feel right to be honest, so but I'm, I'm not sure just now where to fix it. Maybe make the face wider. Let's do the... Uh, I still feel like the chin is way like too much. <laughs> Yeah, now it's, I think it's a little bit better. Um, make your head a little bit bigger, bigger as well. Okay, and let's create the neck because that would give us more picture. Okay, we, we see that part and I think the collarbone would be like a good space between color blocks would be somewhere here and it's kind of a big one up there yeah i feel like it is kind of balanced and then the hairstyle would be somewhere over here I think she could be good maybe some structure is a little bit off but I think we can work with it and fix it in the future, later, when we have more details. But I think it's kind of feel balanced now. Uh, I think like we can see the other side of the circle, like the other side of the side, <laughs> oh, other side of the head over there, because uh, I can see where the eyebrow is turning there. So it's kind of like this. This is the side of the head, yeah. And we see the cheekbone sticking out. Yeah. Okay, I think this is good for now. And we can remove these very lines and just leave a little bit of it so we can just see the structure okay and from now i'm just gonna be focusing on uh, pretty lines so i'm not gonna be making those loose uh, hairy lines anymore and here i'll be focusing on stylization more because uh, I already decided on the structure and I can relax a little bit and now it's about stylizing the features based on her face planes I'm not really uh, making any defined lines over here because first of all there is a shadow there and it's not very defined and second of all this part is usually not very defined because the hair grow starts growing there and it's there is no uh, very defined line over there it's kind of like a little bit of hair starts growing here and then becomes a lot of hair we don't want to like put too much um, too much confidence over there <laughs> We want to leave it a little bit loose. Uh, 
since uh, she's a girl and we want to make her a little bit girly uh, I, I would make sure that I'm making her chin not exaggeratedly big <laughs> I don't know is it can you say exaggeratedly does this word exist I think I just maybe made it up but I hope it exists Okay, we can go for the eyebrows because they give a lot of uh, character and information and we can see if something is wrong on drawing or not. I make sure they have the same angle. Yeah, I think it's kind of how she has it. So she has the cheekbone sticking out, but I'm not gonna be exaggerating and making it like too big. Just enough to show that it's cheekbone and it's sticking out. I think so far she looks okay. And at this stage I can put uh, some shirt on her <laughs> shirt on kind of like the structure I can see the structure looks uh, believable and then I can just carry about the clothes on her on top of it We can cut the drawing somewhere lower here. I don't think I'll be drawing those folds over here. I think it's okay without them because it would just take away the face and everywhere, like take too much atten attention to itself. So I'll just, I'm just not gonna do it because I don't think it's important in this case. We can also add the uh, shadows to this layer as well kind of like showing where they should be so she has this uh this circle the muscles around the mouth and you kind of like can see a little bit of it here and you can see a little bit of it uh, as the light falls on her face here. So this area here, it's not gonna be flat. The symmetry line is kind of gonna be like this. And then the chin over here. So this is the chin, the mouth. I'm like guessing where the lips gonna be right now. Maybe I would have to move them somewhere else. So maybe I, I wouldn't draw them at the moment. Okay, the nose. She has this interesting form over there. So I'm trying to capture it.
make it nose is tricky because uh, every time a person looks up, it's a little bit tricky for me. <laughs> so, so I might need to take a few attempts to capture it, but it's okay. So this is the bottom plane. Then we have a little bit for the nostrils. Here, like the other one, I don't think we can see too much of the nostril there, but it's kind of like just a little bit almost connecting to the bottom plane. Then we have the nostrils themselves. Let's make make it bigger. And I'm trying to make everything symmetrical. So all these lines should be symmetrical. Okay, it seems like okay for now. Let's see like if we add more details if it's all gonna be looking fine. So the eyes are a little bit lower, so they're kind of like here. Uh -huh. We can start working on the shadows over here to make them look uh, nice. So the shadows could be uh, worked on a little bit uh, later because uh, they can be a little bit manipulated and moved uh, to make it uh, more interesting, like more interesting drawing. Like for example, here we following the this circle around the mouth and then it's kind of like straight over there but not too harsh and maybe like showing a little bit of form like this and then it will connect to the bottom eyelid let's do the hairstyle a little bit so it just feels finished i'll make this not like a straight lines because her hair Curly, so I'll try to just capture it here right away. And this one uh, is even blurrier, so I don't want to like put too much attention to it. So even looser line there. Maybe let's work on the ear. I feel like, no, I think it's fine. Uh, I maybe lost the angle a little bit from her. But at the same time, I think it's still looking good. Okay, let's work on it. Let's... Now, look, I don't think I'll be fixed in all the angles, even if they're wrong. Because it's just going to be too much of fixing. So like, now I'm committing to it. <laughs> and I'll make it... Uh, even if it's not as a reference, I'll try to make it as good as I can from what I have right now. So this is the commitment here. <laughs> Unless when I finish it and it's too bad and I don't like it, then I'll probably erase everything and uh, knowing what didn't work, try to redraw it a little bit better the way I think would be better. Yeah, I want to finish the hair before I start the eyes. So like I have everything ready for the eyes. And just can focus on them. Because I feel like eyes, they take too much attention from the drawing. And uh, if the eyes are wrong, uh, it could look wrong. And you wouldn't even know like what's wrong. Is it eyes or the head itself or something else? So now we can see that the head is kind of like okay. We can probably draw the mouth first. I don't know. Uh, what do I want? Eyes or mouth? I think eyes. <laughs> Just in case. Okay, let's start eyes. Um, so she has her eyes starting kind of next to these lines over there, here a little bit there, 
and use almost make sure that they look symmetrical okay those would be the corners of the eyes so then the eyes ending kind of on the same line it looks on the same line even if it's not on the same line or upper on the reference it's okay as long as we making them symmetrical on our drawing I tend to make this eye always smaller and this one's too big in my three quarters view so knowing that I'll just make sure that I'll make this one a little bit bigger right away <laughs> because I have this tendency to do that so knowing what mistakes I usually do I'm trying to you know <laughs> not to make it right away this eye looks bigger because uh, it has like extra shadows over here so we will make those shadows and it would look bigger anyway okay this eye we can see the eyeball there so it's kind of like ending there and for this one I'm not gonna draw the eyeball but it's gonna be like a little bit there visible okay and uh, I'm finding the top point and I make sure that they are on the same line here as well. And I'm connecting it to the... Here I'm not connecting it to the end of the eye because uh, there is an eyeball there. So it's kind of going to this line and then it's going to be ending there a little bit behind that we don't see where. And uh, for the bottom line I'm finding the lowest point there and it's about here and connecting it to the corner I can make now corners there and uh, the eyelids so the eyelids are kind of starting from the corners in her case and going around the eyeball over there kind of hugging it <laughs> we make sure they're on the same height the top point over here and then goes to the corner of her eyes as well she has like interesting eyes so we want to show okay i think it's working out okay so the lines are not as pretty still, uh, but we can clean them up a little bit later. So try to make it more straight, light line. Like practicing first, and then when the movement is there, oh, didn't connect. When the movement is there, it's just like this. No. Not so good. Should have practiced a little bit more <laughs> first. And remove this hands. <laughs> yeah, it looks a little bit cleaner. And we need to make those hither clean. But there I don't want to clean too much because it's going to be hair. In the shadows and I'm gonna put shadows there anyway so but somewhere here she has like a nice neat line there so we want to make sure we also have it clean and nice but we can do the cleaning probably later because we don't know where all the shadow gonna go just now maybe it would hide some of the ugly lines <laughs> okay let's do the uh, like I want to make the eyebrows a little bit more symmetrical now they could be different from the reference just focusing on symmetry on the drawing as long as it's looking good I think like I made her eyebrows a little bit more um, like less soft. We can try making her a little bit cuter. 
Yeah. Instead of her being too serious, we're gonna make her kind. Like, to make someone mm, cuter, I guess. Like, you can uh, move the eyebrows a little bit up here and they become less angry. Okay. So the mouth. So this is the symmetry line and we need to uh, focus on staying there on that symmetry line to show the form better so I don't know how to show her uh, mouth there. like maybe like we simplify it like this and then just like that and then it's gonna be the lip over there the lip ends here right yeah i think it's kind of working out and it looks good I think it's fine, right? Again, it's difficult to judge, so like I'll just draw something and then I can see if it's okay or not. Uh, does it look okay? Maybe the top lip should be moved a little bit. The symmetry line a little bit there and less defined. And we can check it by hitting this little plane over there. Maybe her nose is a little bit too wide. Sometimes even like because it's a really small drawing here moving just you know few millimeters left right make a huge difference. But in portraits in general usually it makes a lot of difference, you know, those few millimeters. Okay, so now we're gonna be trying to exaggerate the shadows, kind of like designing them. So I can see if there is a shadow over here. We wanna make this as a plane over there and this is, would be a nice design so i'm gonna connect it like this so i think it looks cool so for the forehead i don't know like how to exaggerate it uh on the reference it's kind of like not a circle it's it's, it's a different shape but for, just to make it more symmetrical i'll just use it, the circle for the forehead This one's gonna be darker, this one's gonna be lighter. I'm gonna uh, go and draw the same line here, and we can see there, like, this one gets a lot of light, and here it's a little bit darker. So it's right there. Symmetrical, yeah, kind of like that. You see, so this line now had, has a, the same line on another side and it gives this uh, more form to this sketch because you can notice that all these things are symmetrical and for the cheekbone here I can see that we can add it over here because remember we have this plane triangle plane over here so it's kind of like going to the eyebrow so we can see it over there, like this, like that. In her case, she gets the light over there, like a reflex, the reflection of the light. Uh, I don't know if I'll be making it or not. We'll see if it looks good or not. Okay, we forgot the bottom eyelids.
and we need to make sure that they are same uh, width, not width, but height, height I think. Here it's, you can see the edge of it. Okay, and uh, and I guess with adding a little bit more weight to the top eyelid, like over there, and we probably would need to add more, but just to draw the people scenarios is we first need that shadow for the eyelashes, otherwise it's, they're gonna look weird, so that's why I first put some weight on that line. If uh, the eyes look different from the references, okay, as long as they are symmetrical and looking in the same spot, this is the main focus. Because, you know, you can put them looking different directions, up, down, uh, and it doesn't really matter. So right now, like, I usually focus on the drawing mostly, not on the reference. Like, I can look uh, where exactly they are on the reference and kind of, like, know that they should be on this side and maybe draw one from the reference, but the second one has to be matching what's on your drawing, not what's there. <laughs> okay, I think she looks kind of good. I think one of the places that doesn't look good is this, uh, this line, draw line. We need to make it nicer because it was somehow not straight enough, not clean. Nice. So this is cleaner. And maybe the this line also. So we want to separate this line instead of being just uh, round into two lines where it shows that uh, this is the forehead ends where and the hair is kind of going there or around there. It gives it also more structure. So my uh, eyebrows, for example, look a little bit different from hers, but as long as my drawing is symmetrical, it doesn't matter, so don't try to copy the reference too much. Just focus more on your drawing and the symmetry in your drawing. Because maybe you change something and you can't match it anymore exactly like on the reference. I'll just do a little bit of eyelashes just in case to, to have a better view a little bit of the full picture before I start shading. It doesn't matter, but I just want to make sure <laughs> she would look okay with eyelashes and nothing is wrong. Yeah, I think I think it's good enough so we can start shading. I found a 4H pencil. I don't know if it's good or not. Usually I don't draw with such uh, light ones, but let's try it and then we can add more depth with the darker pencils later. Yeah, so for example, with the hair, we would definitely need to add more depth uh, in here, kind of, like this area that is more in the shadow. And this one is kind of in the light. Like, let's put the whole thing in the shadow.
do ear also goes in the shower. And this neck. And I think like we put the almost full neck in the shadow because neck not is gonna be white uh, as for example parts here. It's gonna be darker value, so we want to show that difference. The lips, I'll put the whole upper lip. Uh, not in the shadow, but in the same value. And the bottom one, I'll put a little bit more here to show the form and the shadow, but maybe just a little bit there to also show the form that it gets more light over there, like on top of the bottom lip. Okay, there's a shadow goes under the lip and kind of on the chin circle a little bit on that side as well. I need to remove the, <laughs> the symmetry line because it, now it looks like uh, she has some piercing in from the chin as well. Okay, the nose, uh, she has a little bit more shadow on that side, but not too much. I'll put her, all her bottom plane of the nose in the shadow. I know it doesn't look that way on the reference, but I just want to define the bottom plane to give that uh, form to the nose. So for the nose, I'm trying to follow the planes and not too much of a reference. Maybe uh, I made this plane too dark because it is different from uh, other planes, but it's not, the value is not correct. So it's not too dark. Okay. I'll just add a little bit of shadow over there and over here not too much but just a little bit and you know what I'll add a little bit here even though on the reference I don't see it but I'll just imagine it's there and try to create the form a little bit different value over here to make the nose more whiter like a lighter so for the highlight over here, I don't know, uh, I can make even like a little bit dark here to show that the highlight is over here and on this side, maybe, yeah, I think it looks good. Uh, we can create a little darker shadow over here and color the nostrils. And for the eyes, I'll, I'll take the darker <laughs> pencil. I'll just make a circle for the highlight because the drawing is so small. It's almost, even if I draw the circle for the highlight, it's almost col coloring the whole eye. Yeah. And I'll create a little bit of shadow on her eyelids just to show that they're not flat as well. Even if uh, they might look like they don't have shadows or anything, like we still need to show the form. So, so you're not really trying to focus on how to copy the reference, but mostly uh, how to show the forms that you know are there. Okay, this line looks like an eyebrow. It's the same value as my eyebrow, so it's kind of bad. We need to, yeah, make it lighter. And create not a line but more of a plane like a gradient for the plane okay I think it's getting along nicely 
Uh, I think I like it. <laughs> okay, let's finish the hair. And you know what? I think shading first layer with the hard uh, pencil is quite good. Because the soft one it goes uh, too dark right away. And uh, then it's also smudging easily. I'll give her more shadow over here a little bit. Like the side of the uh, face. To also exaggerate that this one gets a lot of light. Okay. So for the neck, her chin is actually darker than the neck, right? So we want to show it. And here, this part is darker than this one, but because she gets the reflection light over here. So maybe I'll make the hard edge for the shadow, the cast shadow over here. And kind of like a soft edge over here, over there. Not that fine. Uh, this is a cast shadow, it's closer to the chin. Uh, so like it's sharper. And then it's the further away it is from the object that is casting the shadow, then the less uh, defined it is. So here we're gonna have like a really dark shadow inside there. Maybe I'll go over with a different pencil there later. Okay, the chin grew a little bit too big. Oh, chin. Cheekbone. I need to make sure to make it a little bit smaller. Because like some lines just get <laughs> brighter and yeah. So for the uh, her shirt, um, maybe we don't see it too much, but since it's gonna be shadow, so with the shadow is gonna be here kind of imaginary shadow. So like I want this part of the shirt also be darker than for example the other part of the shirt. Mm, and because we didn't make any wrinkles there, so I don't know, we can just show a little bit of the form. Maybe like uh, also shadows behind this thing. And probably this part not gonna have too much light because uh, the shoulder, like this part probably gets uh, more light and here it's gonna be a little bit less because it's a front, same as here, that's why it's not very light. Okay, I think it's good enough, so I don't want to give too much detail in, on the shirt. I want to make this line a little bit less defined, because the difference between values is not as dramatic there. And it's kind of like a soft edge more. Same as here, I might uh, make it maybe softer. But I'll be adding more uh, values there, so I'll work on it a little bit later and we need to add more values here on the hair because I just put the shadow I didn't put the hair value then over here and this part is gonna be dark so maybe I'll take another pencil so this one is 5b very should be very dark I'm afraid to using these darker ones because uh, I smudge it with my hand and I probably not to do it, I, I should use an extra piece of paper or something. So like, that's why I'm trying to go from left to the right all the time. Okay, you see like how I did a little bit of darkness here and she already has much more depth and form. Look at this, so cool. <laughs> Now I can add it to the ear a little bit and to the spots over there. So here with the hair, 
it's a little bit lighter than this darkest dark. So we want to keep it that way. But it's still going to be, and the hair is kind of going this way. So we can follow that line as well to show where her hair, like how her hair grows. And the hair have a little bit of volume, so we want to show that they're not very flat. And they have a little bit of volume over there. And this on top of it, it's only lighter. Okay. And this bit here has a little bit darker value to show that the hair grows there. I'll probably keep this one lighter as a reflection ref reflection light so that's why we go in the other area is darker for this plane hmm, we can uh, use the side circle kind of I don't know, uh, I feel like something is missing here. Maybe a little bit more texture on the hair for the shadows. And the difference between the skin and the hair as well. So I'll make it like darker here, but a little bit lighter to, uh, to the edge of the head to show that it's not, it's different from the this hair bun. Mm. Okay, this one may be a little bit darker value, but it's gonna look white because we gonna make this part much darker. Not everywhere uh, I wanna make a hard edge, but just some places. Okay, I didn't move all this hair. So this one looks lighter. Okay, removing this white there. I guess it should be not that contrasty over there. Maybe adding a little bit of value over here, just as a transition value. Uh, that transition value looks a little bit dirty. So here probably needs a different uh, pencil. So here's the work now to match the values, because if we guess the values correctly, then it would be um, looking good. If we guess values wrong, something would look a little bit like it's dirty, like it's not supposed to be there. Okay, let's add a little bit of depth here. Here, it, the hair not gonna be as dark on this side, but still we need to show that it's different from, for example, this hair. Okay, the lines that uh, are contour lines should be very defined. So now I wanna, I, 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 I'd rather raise them a little bit and clean them up. Like the ear wasn't as smooth. And I'm gonna go with my original pencil, just a B. So now I'm trying to 
keep the structure that we had, not to lose any structure and make the consistent kind of confident line. Not to make it dirty, I'll just turn it here. Because uh, going from left to right, this one is already so uh, dark everywhere and I'll just smudge this whole area if I I don't turn it upside down. I think she's looking great. I'll just add a little bit of more shadows on this side of her shirt. Oh, look, it looks nice. And maybe even here. I'll just add a shadow here too. Yeah, and uh, right there. And maybe here. I don't know what I'm doing. It's like more of a, maybe exaggerating the shadow so it looks more shadowy because right now we kind of like lost lost this shadow looking like a shadow because I sh shaded the other part too. Okay, this one's not clean anymore, so I'll fix it up. Um, I feel like the lip can get a little bit more of a contour. I don't want to connect this line to this because it should have like this soft edges there. But this one, the bottom one could be very like defined really nice. Oh, now I made the lip go a little bit over there. Oh. Maybe if I make it go into this side as well. It's gonna balance it out. Maybe. Maybe I'll just remove a little bit. And now I'll go and uh, make sure the darkest shadows are correct because I probably used a different pencil to draw them first time. Yeah, I think I think she's looking good. Like, let's add a little bit more shadow on this side of the lip. It would make it more 3D, and maybe a little bit in that corner. The teeth not gonna don't have to be white, so we can make them white gray area. I think this one looks too like it has to be light here, but it shouldn't be as. Uh, white is like this area over here so i'll try to make it darker i think it's would be better it's still lighter than the area around it but it should be darker than this area yeah i think i think she's she's doing good Just some ah, this one look good. <laughs> Every time I try to smudge something, it doesn't look like always good for me. It doesn't work as good. Yeah, I think we finished. I think we finished with this girl, and I think she looks good. Let's compare. Okay, this one, and this one. Maybe her lines could be like stylized more a little bit, but I think she's good enough because with this girl. She was uh, uh, messy before, and I had to erase all her face and draw these lines of eyebrows again. So I can probably do something similar here, just to define the lines more for the eyebrows, for example. To make them different from the reference, but just good for the drawing. And also can make the uh, eyelashes. So for this part, Definitely need to sharpen the pencil because 
this part needs very nice clean clean lines so now we're doing what looks good it's not what's on reference okay so it's something that you draw usually and you like that way or what you wish your eyebrows would look like <laughs> i don't know uh, or like the style you like so it's you don't have to look at the reference anymore so i'm making them a little bit bushier and see like you can see the individual hairs a little bit more it's not as stylized as that other drawing there well whatever they don't have to be the same and now the eyes just make the lines sharper and maybe uh okay we forgot to shade this part <laughs> see missed it and we can maybe draw the uh bottom eyelashes i don't see them on the reference but who cares you can draw them you know where they grow and how they grow <laughs> so you can make them up These lines are actually exaggerated on her portrait, so we can return them to be the way they were, because I, I kind of lost them, and they stopped being like a unique feature. Yeah, so I think slowly should be more done. Maybe this line is not symmetrical with this one. We can make this one a little bit that way or to erase part of this line and make it a little bit wider. This line looks too thick. Uh, I'd rather have it as a plane, not as a line art. So it's gonna have to match the value of the plane instead of being a line over there. Maybe like just a thinner line. Okay, I think she's good enough. Yeah, I think she's kind of matching. Uh, I would maybe just work on the making some fun looking hairs, hairs over here. Just some details that people would notice. <laughs> Even though all the hard work is in creating this form, people notice the details. And how clean the lines are. Okay, I think she's beautiful. Okay, done. So difficult to stop. <laughs> done. Good. And then I'll draw more here. So which number is this one? is uh, 57 57 okay thank you for watching i hope it was helpful bye